to Bell to start the round. Good punch. Can't land that jab. So much hype surrounding this big matchup as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Can you imagine walking into this town, walking into a arena with such nice people chanting your name? You can't even hear your corner man whisper in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. A lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. The perfect counter lands. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. When you're fighting a swarmer and you know their goal is to bury their head right in your chest, the uppercut would probably come in handy. Swarmers, you can go back in boxing history. When you've seen them, when you've seen the best of the best, the best swarmers going, you understand how hard it is. It looks exciting from the outside in. Imagine being right in there. There's a counter shot. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That counter shot won. Let's talk about Chavez in that last round. Talk about a one sided three minutes. We're hoping for an all action slugfest. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last run, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing, because you've won that hands down. A straight right just misses. <laughs> Jab from these two. This fighter focuses on those long, straight punches, staying on the outside, and winning round after round. If you're an outside fighter, you've got to use that straight jab, the straight right hands, the straight left hands. Doing it that way, it makes it so awkward for anybody to try and pin you down. Or even assist, which way you move. Amir Khan, it's a real trouble. And Amir Khan finally on the canvas. Blow to the head there. Let's see it again on instant replay. A shot from the gods took him out. for him to get back up on his feet, but is he just a glutton for punishment? The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Talk about Khan in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the... They ring the bell and here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff. <laughs> Put some cut. Amir Khan is rocked. How did they survive that? 
been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What do you do? What's he tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? They exchange punches. We'd like to see more jabs. Pretty much cheap and Steven. And that jab. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. He's got to figure out a way to neutralize that length. You've got to make your opponent fight your kind of fight. They've got to get into your kind of argument. Your kind of dance. This is not how the story was supposed to go for a mere cut. And down he goes. What an upset this could be as Khan is down. I think that will look even more dramatic in slow motion. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. So it's onward and upward after a knockout win here. What a 